Hi everyone, it's Kathleen Pogany. Halloween is upon us and that means it's time for our annual spooky look at haunted places around the Treasure Coast. This year we're focusing on Fort Pierce. First up, we have the P.P. Cobb Building on Indian River Drive, the oldest structure in Fort Pierce. This historic site was a state trading post in 1882 and later a general store in 1896. According to a St. Lucie County Historical Society Museum volunteer, she's experienced some ghostly encounters in the building. Imagine being alone and suddenly hearing someone call your name. She's also felt a hand on her arm, which she described as a friendly reassurance about her historical role. Next, we venture to the historic Sunrise Theater, which Rupert Kobelgaard opened in 1923. Rumors of his haunting began in the 1980s. People have reported seeing opaque shapes in the windows and hearing knocks from within the walls. In 2006, construction workers reported strange noises and items moving around on their own. Paranormal investigators have confirmed eerie happenings like doors opening and closing by themselves and batteries mysteriously draining. What's going on here? Finally, Let's visit the historic Boston House, originally called Crest Haven. Built in 1909 by William T. Jones, it has its own chilling tales. One eerie story involves the ghost of Alicia Perkins, a widow who allegedly waits for the return of her husband and son lost at sea in the early 1900s. And a tragedy occurred at the house in 1918 when a nine-year-old boy died accidentally. Tenants of the building have reported windows opening and doors unlocking on their own, sensing a strange presence, smelling perfume in the air, and things being moved around when no one is there. So what do you think? Are these places truly haunted? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tales from the Treasure Coast. Happy Halloween.